It's in a valley. Are you in the valley? I'm in the valley. It's in the it's in the in the forest. It's a big house. I can't see my feet. It's a big dress. I have a big dress on. What color is the dress? It's blue the whole way down to the ground. Is there any markings or patterns on it? It's like little flowers. Do you know what it's made out of? It's made out of silk. How old would you be? I think I'm in my... I think I'm in my 30s. Do you see the color of your hair? It's dark. How long is it? It's very, it's very long. It's, it's below my chest. Do you know the color of your eyes? It's a green. Do you know what your name is? Maria. Does your body feel healthy? Yep. Are you carrying anything? I'm carrying flowers. What do the flowers look like? How are they arranged? They're just long flowers, purple long flowers. Do you know where you got them from? Just from the from the field. Do you have any jewellery or ornaments on your body? I have diamonds around my neck. Anything else? Four rings, two on each hand. Which fingers are the rings on? The two middle ones. Do any of those rings really stand out and get your attention? It's one that is blue on the right hand. What's it made out of? Like a stone. Is there anything else on the ring, or is it just a single stone? There's like little diamonds around it. Is it a pretty solid blue colour, or is it more transparent? A solid blue, dark blue. Solid mm. but dark blue. And how do you feel? I feel very happy. Mm. I feel grateful. What time of day is it? Late morning. What is the weather like? It's a beautiful blue day. Oh, it's a beautiful day. It's blue skies. What about the temperature? It's, it's, it's not warm. It's not cold. Do you notice any noises or sounds? There is... There is animals. And it's, I can hear some kids... Do you notice any smells? Green grass and the flowers that I have in my, have in my hands mm. or under my arm. So whereabouts are you standing? Yeah. I'm just standing kind of down in the hill on the grass area. And I'm just looking out, looking at everything that's going on. I'm smiling. Do you see any others? Yeah, I see. I see. I see it. Some animals. There's some. It's a big horse, and it's. And the, it's a big horse. Just grassing, and it's, it's some sheep, and there's a dog with me. What's a dog look like? He's brown. He's quite big. He's like an English setter. Mm. He's beautiful. He's sitting there with me. He seems to be with me all the time. Yeah. Do you know what his name is? He's Angus. Okay, so just see what you get up to next. Just 
see what you decide to do. I'm walking up towards the house. It's a big house. Is it one story or two? It's like three stories. It's a big, big house. It's like a little castle. So it's pretty long. It's pretty long. It's a lot of windows. What's it made out of? Bricks. Do you make it to the house as you walk up? Yeah, I'm walking up the stairs. If you were to take a guess at the time period based on, you know, what the inside of the house looks like and everything, what, what year would you say it is? I think it's in the 1700s. Okay. Where do you go when you get to the top of the stairs? Walk in this big, massive door. And where do you end up? In this big hallway. And now it's a person coming to pick up my flowers for me. A lady. Do you know what her role is or position? She looks like she... She's a servant. Do you know what your position is in the house? You seem to own it. Do you know who you live there with? It's a man. Seems to seems to be something prominent. Walk into the library. It's just to the left, not from the hallway. It's big, big, big furniture. Tall ceilings. How many bookshelves would you say there are? Oh, it's just covered. There's lots and lots of books. Is anyone in there with you? No, oh, it, it is a man sitting there in front of the fire with a cup of tea. He's tall. It's a moustache. He's tall and slim and he wears a suit, black jacket, grey pants. He's well groomed. I think he's late forties, all early fifties. Go and up and kiss him and sit down to, next to him. Do you know if you're married? Yeah, we're married. And Angus is there, he's very happy. He likes to he looks very he greeted him. Did you notice any other animals in the house when you came in? There is a cat. He's sitting up on the shelf, one of the shelves. He's just sitting there looking at us. We talk about a trip. We're going to London. Do you know how far away London is from where you live? It seems to be some hours. Do you know how you will get there? By horse. That's for the horse. Because I saw a lot of horses. That's the horses. Yeah. What is the purpose of the trip? It's going to visit the royal family. He's, he knows them. We know them. Yeah. What is their connection to the two of you? Seems like something was him. He's he's a member of the royal family. So would you say he's related to them? Yeah. Do you know if he has any kind of title? Lord comes true. Okay. Lord. Do you talk about anything else? It seems like I'm supposed to do something when we go to London. Do you mean like preparing? Preparing for something. Yeah. Do you ever read any of the books in there? I seem to always read. Do you have a favourite book that comes to mind? I seem to have a curiosity around kind of mystical stuff. Mm. Do you know if you have a lot of books on that topic? There are books, but I have to be careful. Careful in what way? It seems to be a little bit out of the norm at the time. Do you keep those books inside that room? They are in the room. But not all together. I seem to have... It seems to be in kind of another side of me. How would you describe that? On the surface, everything 
That seems to be a nice lady. But I'm curious about other things that is different. I'm not a witch, but kind of interested in alternatives. Yeah. And my husband is aware of it, but and he's supportive, but we need to be careful because of who he is. Does he emphasize that? Yeah, it does. We seem to have a very good good and open relationship. Yeah. So of all these mystical alternative things, this knowledge, what stands out the most about it? What is it an area that you're really interested in? It just seems that this comes through like UFOs. That doesn't make sense, but like the images of the crafts? Yeah. Do you know if there's a book there that has such pictures or drawings? It's like a big book. It's like a big book with weird, weird scripts kind of writing and just pictures. They're drawn they're drawn pictures. Mm. But it's something with this particular book. It's a big, big book. It's not it's it's big in size, it's not just thick, it's just big in size. Yeah. Does it have to be that size to, to get in the good drawings? I think so. Well just have that in mind, have that intention of having that in memory now and, and see what drawing pops up. What's the one that stands out the most that you remember about that book? It's it's a round it's like a round craft that's that it's black, also. purple, green, with some stars on it. Mm. Weird. Is it um in space or is it down on earth? Yeah, space. It's in space. The, the drawing drawing is in space. Is there anything else in the drawing or just that? It's just that. And does your husband have any interest in any of that, or is it just you? He's curious, but not interested like I oh, am. Yeah. I seem to have the connection of some sort, but with this oh, it's like a deep connection, he doesn't, but he's allowing me, he's kind to allow me to to explore. Yeah. Okay. But he's worried about our reputation. Do the two of you know anyone else in your lives that also have that same interest of that topic? It is. It it seems to be this group in London. So when we go for our trip to London, I'm going to spend some time with. It's in the basement. It's in a <laughs> dark basement. What is the group associated with? And when they kind of on their own do their own thing? They, they seem to all be prom, prominent. But it seems like it's just this interest that we're drawn to, but because of the era. We're not allowed to explore it too much. Are we do you, not? Do you plan to visit that that group when you go? Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to the royal family. We're going to to some event, but then I'm I'm going to go and do my own thing. So but it's... we have to be careful because my husband he's He's going to a special meeting, and and I they're just going to say that I'm in my room and resting. Yeah. And then I'm going to, so I have to, I have to be careful when I walk to this place. So people don't see you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so what I want you to do, do now is just move ahead to when you are there, when you do go and visit that group. Just see if you can do that. Just skip ahead in time. 
to when you're in that moment when you're um you're you're off to to go to that group and see what comes to you. I'm walking down some stairs, They're quite kind of not steep stairs, but and it's quite a big place again, made of bricks, like big bricks. And it's a heavy door. It's a heavy door. Do you know how far away uh, that place is from the 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 royal area you were staying at? It's. it's I had to go in the hall a little bit to take him by horse. But it's kind of the other it's kind of, it's still in the city but a little bit of the outskirts of the city. Okay. So there's a big door. What what does the door look like? It's a big heavy dark door. Again it's you know, it's it's expensive. Yeah. And somebody's opening the door for me. Does the door have any images or engravings or anything on it? It's like a, it's quite a, it's like a round door, oval. And it's dark, and then it's like a, you know, those kind of, it's like stripes. Yeah, stripes. Mm. Metal stripes. And it's a big metal handle. Yeah. So who opens the door? Somebody standing outside that opens the door for me. Does that person come in with you or do they stay? They stay. stay. They stay. Mm. That's what they do. It's like a guard. Yeah. Do you go in? I go in, and then it's greeted. It's dark, but it's lots of candles. And I'm greeted by a group. It's a group, and it's one one older guy, elderly, comes up. He has he's very well dressed, again very groomed. He has grey hair. Long grey hair, and he has round glasses. Yeah, and he's very pleased to see me. And How it's, many? It's six of them. Yeah, six of them. It's two, two women and three men. How large is the room? Oh, it's massive. It's huge. It's, it's it's a big ceiling. But it's underground? Yeah, well, it's underground. It's weird. It's very weird. It's shaped weird. It's shaped like a... I thought it was underground, but it seems like it's underground, but it's also over... It's like it's spilled under the ground, but it's glass, like lots of glass on top, like a round circle. So would you say it's like partly underground? It's partially underground because it's dark, kind of darkish with lots of candles, but then you kind of get further into the room and that's where you have this, this glass round window. Yeah. Do you notice any furniture or objects in there? Uh, it's lots of furniture. It's again heavy, heavy furniture, and it's lots of books there as well. And then it's microscopes. It's a microscope, or you call it? I don't know the word for it. But you know, looking at the stars. Uh, telescopes. Telescopes. <laughs> how how many are there? The telescopes. It's like one big one and there's a couple of small ones. Yeah. Hmm. So would you say it might be an observatory? Maybe that's what it is. 
but you did say there was there's lots of books as well. And... Yeah, lots of books. I think it's just... It's just a it's it's just a curious energy in there. It's just this, but it's kind of it's it's not about looking just at the stars. Mm. It's looking at something else. Do you feel if it's like a, a public place or is it more no, private? It's, not it's private, definitely private. Yeah. It's so the old, it's all guys. And his yeah. his name is James. It's yeah. his place. Do you know when you first met him, what comes to mind? I think he's an academic. He's a professor of some sort. Yeah. But he's curious about things that... This, I think this 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 side that there is a lot of kind of normality to it, but it's also kind of something else, a little bit more alternative, a little bit more secrety. Yeah. I'm not fully sure what what it all is. So you said that uh, it's not you know just about looking at the stars. Do you know what it is? What else do they use that big telescope for? Think is, I think this is the object that I saw before. You know the, yeah. I suppose the the UFOs, or maybe it's just a discovery of something. Maybe we have this understanding that no one has. I don't know. Okay, so you go in the room and you're greeted by um, James. What happens next? We all come just kind of come together and we're standing there and somebody is serving us a glass of something. It's a good atmosphere, it's a lot of laughter and it's a seems to be a very good connection. It's a, it's a very accepting place. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it feels good. That's good. What are some of the discussions that come up? It's one that uh, James is sharing something, but he's quite funny. It's a bit of a, just a banter and just talking about kind of it's that sense of humor about knowing something that others don't. Mm. And it's just because we all have such a passion and interest for it, it's just you can make it funny. Do you know what the, um, you could say, program or plan is for the meeting? What's what's the intention? There is a study. There is some sort of a study that we're going to discuss. It's been done some research. Some research. James has? Yeah, James. I think everybody's involved with it. Even I think that... The few, four men are academics. Yeah. The women are are just well educated, but not in the university system. Yeah. Do you know if you were involved with it as well? Yeah, I'm, I think that's where my passion comes from. It's what I like to read about. Do you know? I think what... I would like to be an academic, but I don't think I'm allowed. Yeah. Is it because you kind of have to play the role of of the wife with the yeah. Lord? Yeah, yeah. And because I'm part of such a prominent family, I have to be careful. Yeah. So in relation to what's going to be discussed, do you get any insight on, on what you are going to bring up or what work you've done? It seems like I've seen something. I've seen something. It's. I seem to spend a lot of time watching the sky when I'm at home, and 
exploring, we've kind of come up with a way of connecting with something. And we're all exploring this together and it's just this open-mindedness to talk about these things. And it's just like it's a light that is coming through. It's like I've seen some a light of something. So just move to the moment where you do share. Um, mm. When you all start going over that together. And just see what's going on and what you pick up. Well, I'm sharing about this evening. I was sitting outside and there was this light. There was this light. It's a, this quite intense light that emerged because my property is so vast and it's in, in outside, in the countryside. The stars are just so clear, and it's just this big light. How far uh, away is it? It's actually not too far. It's just like coming close to me. And when that happened, did you get a feeling of an emotion or a feeling around that? It's it's a, it's a, it's a feeling of connection with it. It's, so you... I don't feel scared. I don't feel scared. Mm feel like it's some it's just it's just it's just standing there it's not it's not landing or anything it's just standing there and i'm looking up at it so like hovering it's hovering it's just hovering so you saw the light but did you see beyond the light as in what it is yeah because the light is kind of in front and then when it comes closer you could see it is like a, a vessel of some sort how large is it? It's 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 not that large. It's not it's like a it's like a round it's like a round egg. And in front it's just this Would you say it's like a size of a car or smaller? No, it's bigger than a car. It's 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 not small, small, it's it's kind of a there could be people, or kind of people, or whatever. It's in there. But there's something in there. So it's, yeah, it's big enough to have um, beings or something mm, inside. Mm. And it is, it is. It's it's looking down at me, but I can't see it. But I just know it's looking down at me. But it is friendly. It's very friendly. It's just yeah, and yeah, curious. And this is what I'm sharing about. And do you know? Do you get a sense or understanding of why they've come to you? I think it's because I'm open. I'm open to it. Yeah. I'm not scared of it. Do you manage to establish any communication with them during that experience? It's like it's just a it's it's no communication with words. It's just a it's more like we're okay. <laughs> We are okay. I don't know what that means, but we just we we're, we're not we just connected. It's like a connected connection. So it's kind of like there doesn't have to be uh, the words or no, the next explanation. It's more about feeling a connection and yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's like don't be afraid. It's nothing to fear. <laughs> Do you know if that's ever happened to you before? It seems like it's kind of a familiar thing. So I think it has happened. Maybe it is just something. I think that's what we're studying. I think. I think it's we have connected with something, and it's this group of us that have connected with something, and because we, we are opening up to it. It's weird. So just see what the others share. See what you learn from them. They seem to have the same 
it's like when we are talking about it, everybody's nodding their heads and kind of, oh, yes, that's right. And they're just acknowledging and sharing, and it's kind of similar experiences. It's like it's just this kind of, they're all very similar. It's kind of the same thing. You learn anything different or new from them when comparing to your experience? It seems like James have had the experience that they they actually opened open this kind of thing in front and looked at him. So he seems to be a step ahead. So he's kind of a, allowed to, to experience more? Yeah. Does he know why? He's been, um, you know, had that experience compared to. He he definitely him. has the theory around. He he has an understanding. He has an understanding, and this is what we're all sharing. It's like he's not a guru or anything like that. He's not, but we are, we we are working with him and learning from him. Hmm. Mm. So he was able to uh, see one of the yeah, beings was, inside. Yeah, he yeah he he shared that. Does he describe what it looks like? They were kind of. They had you know they had bodies and arms and legs and and eyes and everything. They were just. It seems like it's just this green thing coming through. That he talked about this green thing. Green, as in um, the color of the skin, or mm, the color, just the color of yeah, the I texture. Texture, yeah. It's, it's. Did he describe what their faces and heads look like? He said it was just friendly. They just. It looks, they look, they, they just, he just said it's very friendly. They're friendly. Just curious, friendly. They seem, they seem a lot more advanced, he said. Yeah. And, we could, and we could sense that seeing this thing, it's, it's not something for the time. As in to be um, in the revealed hundreds, yeah. yeah. It's like yes, it's not, it's not something. This is the whole uniqueness about it. It's just something that would never be considered for the time. It's would you say it's much more rare for that to happen in that time period? Ah, oh, yeah. So, did he also feel that sense of connection that the others, including you, did? Yeah. And that's the commonality. It's just that deep connection. It's like a, it's like a knowing. Did it, he uh, manage to communicate with them beyond that? I don't think he's got there yet. Not in this meeting. So would you say the the extra s the step ahead would just be visually seeing them? Yeah. I think that's what we're discussing and exploring what he's been thinking about. Yeah. What he's going to do. Does he have a a way or idea on, on how to attract them to ha how to have more of those experiences? He seems to to have an understanding, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Does he share that with you? I think he's, he talks about patient. He talks about curiosity. He talks about letting them know that you can connect, that you're open for it. I think that's the uniqueness with this group that 
we are more accepting beyond or curious beyond the masses at the time. So would you say that all of you in the group are, you know, you're not just stuck in your lives um, playing out, you know, no. the, the characters, you, you've you kind of looked beyond that to see what else is in existence sort of thing? It's way beyond that. And I think that's the funny thing to look at this is how I'm part of this family, the royal family, and have this life and, but it's just this other side, and it's just so more expensive. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So with that sharing you have in the group, does anything else interesting pop up? I mean, it is. It, it is that there is that side that we have to be careful and be very careful about talking about these things to anybody else because of the short-mindedness and the, you know, the rules and regulations and all these things that we have to stay away from. So no one else knows these things because it's just too much fear. So there is, yeah, we're kind of talking about the important, or the kind of that challenge of being in these two different worlds at the same time. Mm. What is his advice or suggestions around how to increase these the number of these experiences and attract them? It's just just be sit outside and be curious. It's just the message. Just be outside and be curious, and just have no fear, and just know that there's so much more to life than this this kind of closed off existence. Does he have a plan as in what is his end goal? What does he want to try and achieve? It is quite controversial. So he's wanting to publish parts of this. But I'm not sure if he ever did or but it is he 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 he's for some reason we've all been attracted to him. And yeah. he's he's writing about it and doing things with it, but I'm not hundred percent sure exactly what happens with it. Yeah. It seems to just be so so different and unique that it's hard for anybody else to understand. Mm. What are you doing now? Back in our house. How old would you say you are now? Probably more in my 60s. In what room are you in? It's like a in the in the dining room. It's it's a massive massive long table. It's a seems like it's it's going to be some sort of a celebration. And uh, what are you doing just now? I'm just walking around and getting it all ready and kind of talking to the servants and getting it all set up. It's kind of, it's about to start. I don't know what the day is about, but. Are there people coming that um, don't, don't live there? Yeah, mm -hmm. it's lots of guests. It looks like it's at least a hundred, 150 people showing up. Is your husband going to be home? Yeah. He's a lot older than me now, so he's, he's quite frail. Okay, so just let that play out. And um, as it does, you might get some insight into why people are coming together. 
why you're having the celebration as you might interact with those that arrive. Just see if anything interesting comes up. It's a wedding. But it's, I don't have children. So see if you can work out who's getting married. Why are they significant? It's my, I think it's, I, I don't think I'm related, but it's some, 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 someone I'm close to that are getting married on, that, on our property. Do you know why they wanted to do it there? I think I have invited them to do it. Okay. It has something to do with one of the ch children to that. I don't. One of the groups from that other group. Do you mean one of those people in the room uh, in that? Yeah. Um, observatory. Um, one of their children. Yeah. I'm very close to that child. I think I'm. I think I'm their godmother. Yeah. And it's a little, again, a little bit out of the norm. I seem to have been a bit out of the norm in this lifetime. In what sense? That I don't just follow rules. Cause... So, yeah. So normally you wouldn't, um, you would only be a relate, or be involved with people that are royalty or close to the family. It would may not be so normal to invite this person. Yeah, I think I think it's just I'm um, actually this this wedding is not I, it's no no royals that is coming. It's just like I've just invited. They have been able to. I'm organizing it for them. Yeah. Mm. And and they are bringing their friends. And my husband is just very open to it. He's he's just very kind. He's just he's just allowing me to be different. Do you know if there was any risk in doing that? Having that well, wedding there? The risk was more about our reputation and what other people think. But it was kind of an important, important event mm. for us, for me, for, for this group, this group of six people, with me, seven. It's just something that I'm they're just so special to me. Do you know if they all attended? They're all coming, yes. Yeah. James is very old though. He's very old. He's very old. Do you get it is there a chance for you to, to talk with him while while there? Yeah, I talk to James, yeah. Do you talk about anything interesting? He's kind of he's 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 just he's very grateful. Again, it's just a lot of gratitude. It's, he's just grateful for what we're doing, and he's grateful for us as a group. And he's, I think it's like because we have this connection with this other thing, everything just seems sort of so joyous and, <laughs> and because it's just that acceptance of it I don't know how to say it but he's just he's old and he knows he's going to pass but he's not scared so would you say that having that knowledge and those experiences has, has kind of uh, uplifted you in life it's absolutely it's a different energy he has when I look at him now at this party. He just have this warmth. He's just you could see his his energy is just vibrating. He's definitely something unique about him. Yeah. Do you know if he ever ended up publishing or making his his work public? He did put something out there, but I can't I can't say what it was or but he was he was one of those different ones. He was not accepted in the 
kind of typical science, hardcore academic environment. He he was one of the outcasts. Yeah. But he didn't care about that. So on the fringe instead of the mainstream. Yeah, yeah. And that's what, but he was, you know, extraordinarily wealthy. So he had a lot of influence because of that, but he wasn't able, he wasn't, he wasn't driven by that as such. It was just, he did, it just made him, made it possible for him to, to do what he was doing. And he was just generous. Mm. Mm. Do you know who's going to take over the group when he passes? It's 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 one of the other ones. Um, it seems like it's another male. I don't remember his name, but it's one of the other males that. One of the four. Yeah, one of the four. But we are happy with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so just see if there's any other. Interesting conversations, whether it's with James or anyone else uh, at the wedding. What else takes place? It's just that we, it's, even though the celebrate kind of celebration, lots of people, we still just have to, the, you know, the seven of us still have to just come together as a small group. So we go into the library and we sit down and we sit down in a circle. And we just, we just, we just actually hold hands. Yeah. And it's just that, again, because James is so frail, but still so alive, we just show gratitude. And I definitely feel like there's, it's a lot more understanding within the group since the first time we met. Well, not the first time, but in the last meeting. Yeah. That it's like a sense of complete, all the fear of worries are kind of, we're just playing. We're just playing. We, we actually are having a good laugh because we think that's, you know, how we behave in this world is, is kind of a bit, you know, it's it's kind of, so restricted when I mean, we're actually so free and open and we have just so many opportunities and possibilities but we don't take advantage of it do you mean while you're in a body yeah yeah and we've kind of we kind of recognize that and it's just and yeah again it's just this humor when we are together it's a lot of humor. I like the humor. It's it's a and you know it's 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 so down to earth. It's it's not fluffy or rituals or anything like that. It's just natural. It's just natural. And for some reason, even though this library is big and but it just feels so intimate. So you you hold hands. Um, you're holding hands now. Yes, if you're holding hands, we're laughing, and it's just like we have this. We have this knowing, mm. and we know that we have to play the game. We know we can't spread it in a. We just quietly. I think we all quietly just talk to people in a in a. In the in the way that it's not too scary. You mean talk to others? Yeah. As in sharing, sharing what, our experiences. some of the experiences. Yeah. Yeah, that we kind of received from from these other beings. And so this. just just see what else has happened. So you, you know, you, you talked earlier about you know James had that direct viewing of one of them and you you had that one the craft come to you just mm -hmm. see what else pops into your mind about what else you have experienced and maybe what they have experienced since then we've definitely met with them now they are funny looking things yeah 
they're really weird. It's kind of really weird to explain how they look. It's kind of, uh, it's 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 it, they they they're like green, but they're very smart. What would they be similar to if you did compare it to something that you're aware of? Some kind of creature or animal? Or... Like a gremlin. Would they be a bit smaller than humans as well? Yeah, yeah. Big heads. Green? Green. Bright green. And they have long fingers. Yeah. How many fingers? Oh, looks like it's four, four fingers. <laughs> Long nails. They're quite affectionate towards each other as well. Mm. Did you meet with them? Yeah. Where did that take place? It was in the place that outside the house. It was just one evening. How many times? I think times? it became. I think it was quite common. It became a thing that just happened quite often when I finally connected with them. So would you say, like countless times, it was just become quite um quite the norm for you to yeah to go out there yeah yeah. Did you ever go anywhere else, or would it would it only take place there at your place? No, I didn't go with them. Did you no. have the choice or the option? I don't think. I'm not sure if we've talked about that. I think potentially. I don't know. I don't know. It was kind of just nice to have them there, and, and they were comfortable. They were all comfortable. So but just, it's interesting that there are, we just, as a group of the seven, we never came together and met together. We seemed to just all meet them individually. Do you know why uh, you didn't do that? I don't know. Do you know if you wanted to do that? Or did I James don't think it was ever that? a discussion about that. I think we all had our own space. We were kind of... So that was like good enough. You didn't yeah, have the yeah. desire to do it as a group. Yeah, I think, I think it's something around the having that courage of just doing it in your own space. But you know, there was just there were, but there was two or three of them that came with those. I don't know what they were called. The ships. Yeah. Well, no, they just the the, the beings. There was two or three of them. So you mean that, uh, that sometimes came to me. there was only three in total? That you, uh, yeah, three of and and sometimes you'd see one of them or different ones of of those three, or did they all come at the same time? Oh, they all came at the same time, but sometimes there was just two of them. There were always two or three. Yeah, okay. yeah, they were never alone. So just see if you can bring uh, to recall any insights any important insights and experiences they had with you uh over the years what, what some of the things you learned and, and and what changed you well it, i think it was just they were very much around that don't be f f you know fear thing you know don't be scared of anything it was just they were just it's like they were definitely ahead of us you know and and I got that insight from them that everything is kind of like a an illusion. And that we just in the play and it's nothing to be fearful of. And I, that's why I felt so much more relaxed in, in, in life in general, general and playing this role of being. It felt safe, you know, I, I felt I felt it was, I felt safe around them, and I think the yeah, it was just a sense of feeling safe to knowing that it's quite scattered, but it was just so much that I learned that just was so beneficial for my life at the time. You know, there was just they just talked about, you know, the 
Earth is not the only living glow, you know, living place in this universe. It's just so much more to it. But they actually, you know, they did talk about how we kind of have forgotten things, you know, because the experience in this existence is we've forgotten. Do you mean forgotten things from past, uh, from history, history on Earth or beyond the Earth? Beyond Earth, our existence. We've forgotten our existence. Beyond this we've, dimension. Yeah. We think everything, we just because we think this is it, but it's, they kind of talk to me about how it's so much more. It's just, a, what's interesting, it's just the feelings that is coming through that is hard to explain because it's just that's I think that's that's kind of what they what they brought to 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 us as a group was just that sense of complete peace and just the sense of complete joy and connection. So would you say that, you know, all that information that you weren't aware of, that's not so important. What's important is how it made you feel? I think it was more about how I feel, yeah. And how it kind of changed you uh, on the yeah. inner, inner being in relation to the feelings, yeah. Yeah. Just how I was around people as well. You know, I was I was a, such a kind person, even if I had all this status. and It didn't really matter, but I was able to just, you know, like the wedding, that was, I put that on because I want to be kind. Yeah. Did it make you more kind? It did make me more kind. Yeah. Okay, just try something for me in relation to those beings and, and what they taught you. Just see if you can just briefly connect into them and see if they have anything that's pertinent that's important for you to know about your current life back in the room is there anything they want to share with you they just they just basically saying to me just remember that what have you know just remember they're just reminding me of what what they shared last time why is it important that you remember and, and have those memories of that? Because I seem to have forgotten. And it's just, you know, the purpose, to just the purposes, they're just saying the purpose is to just remember our connection. How will that, that um, the memories and the feelings and, and what they're explaining now, how will that benefit you in your current life? Being kind. Being kind and being open and let go of the ego. Just help people. Just help people remember. Take off the shell that I've kind of developed in this lifetime. Remember the the person I was in the, the previous life. Mm -hmm. And while you've got them there, ask them, what is this this block you have between you and others? This, this, um, this feeling of where you are where you can't fully connect with others. What's that about? Hmm. It's just, yeah, it, it is. They just talk about, again, of letting go of these strong beliefs. 
it's just something it's kind of coming through it's just this kind of it's, it's, it's like a, it's like a smell I need to let go of a smell what is the origin or source of that that smell whatever that is what where does that come from why did you develop that something rotten did something happen to you that was like a rotten experience or rotten energy it's like it's quite a strong negative energy so uh, yeah ask them where does that come from what is this you just see this color brown like on the ground, it's like it's sloppy. It's just just check in with them and ask: Will you have something else come up in this session soon that would explain it? Explain it, it better. It seems like it is something that is coming up later. Because mm. maybe we don't need to explore it right now, but yeah, they gave you some hints around it. I don't want to let them go. <laughs> no, I, I can understand that. And, uh, you know, having that experience of the, the holding hands off the group as well in that room, mm -hmm. that would be really nice. Because it's it's a group energy as well. And it's, it's not just about you. You've, you're connected into their energy. And, and they've had a similar experience to yours. And that's, that's kind of um, making it stronger for you mm -hmm. as well. Um, so just go back to that that scene where you know you're at that wedding, you came together, uh, and you're kind of re reminiscing and joking, and there's lots of humour. And yeah, we were looking into what happened, and yeah, you explained that there were other experiences, and you got to meet them. So just you know, you've had had a good look at your own one. So just check in and see what. I've shared with you and see if there's anything different with their experiences that you need to remember. I think some 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 of them are white and black and there is different colours. Mm. Do they all kind of look the same body shape though? It's just different colours. I think some of them were rounder than others. Do you know if they live in the physical universe or do they kind of exist at a different frequency? I think that it's a different frequency. That's not. Do you know if that's their permanent bodies that they come in as, or is it really just for these meetings with people down here? I'm not. I think. I think it's more about the frequency because I think that's what they bring down. You know, the the positive frequency energy. I'm not sure if they live in these bodies or they, mm. they might. They didn't really talk too much about themselves as such. Mm. It was more about bringing bringing this energy for us to experience. It's like they're kind of they're like little reminders. Do you know if you've had a similar experience to what's happened in that lifetime and any other lifetimes up until the current one back in the room here? I think it has followed me in some form because even in this lifetime I have these moments of the similar experience and there is something 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 that i'm bringing with me but it's just this dark thing that is holding it back okay so just see what else is coming up about about what they shared um is there anything interesting uh, that is a bit different from your own personal experiences I think there's different type of conversations you know it seems like the, the the green ones that I experienced was kind of more on the the kind of the fear fear side and 
just letting go of that and others was kind of around other types of emotions and it was just kind of different forms of conversations and focus and I think they were directed to the kind of the experience of the individual what they needed in the in the time yeah that makes sense so they and I think through that sharing and in some ways I think by having this group and when we kind of met with these beings as I said we didn't we didn't talk there wasn't a language it was just kind of a a, a, a thing um we were able to just express different things. Was it telepathic? Yeah, absolutely. So even though you didn't talk as in sounds, um, were you able to see images or symbols and, and understand them anyway? Yeah, yeah. The body language was kind of similar. Even though they had kind of different bodies, they were kind of moving their arms and it was, you know, they, they they were smiling and they. So there was just it was kind of similar sense in the the movements of the body, but it was just it wasn't the the mouth didn't move. Yeah. It wasn't words. It wasn't anything we needed to understand. Like in understand language, I mean, but it was a different form of understanding. Yeah. And um, the James remain kind of a step ahead of all those experiences what would he, he did he did what did he um share about things that you might not have gone through he seems to be he seems to understand all of what we all talked about like he was kind of the he got it all like we had bits and different things that came to us and what we needed at the time, he seemed to just have it all. Yeah. He didn't need to... He, he wasn't seeking anything for his own thing. He was just more... It was more his... Yeah, he was just kind of our guide, I suppose. An extraordinary kind. Yeah. So would you say that he didn't have to go through those experiences with them he, because he was already pretty uh, developed. He was developed. But I think that's kind of where he came in and it was more kind of curious about how to translate it into something that humans could understand. So his his passion was really trying to share it. Yeah. yeah. Through an yeah. academic kind of form, but yeah, and I wouldn't be surprised that, you know, if he did back then, that it would have been hidden and suppressed and lost mm. by now because of others wanting to control that information. Well, that was his problem, wasn't it? Mm. He was just, you know, he, he was he was he was very clever and he was playing the game. And he wasn't he was just he really he wasn't for the ego. He didn't want to be recognized as a. You know, such and such. It was just more. He had this thing that he wanted to kind of put out there, and I think he brought good to a lot of people. Yeah. But it was just this group that kind of was his source. Okay. I think that's that's what come true. We had to be connected in the group to be able to really get the whole advantage of. Of the whole experience. So is, was it a bit like an integration process? Mm. Yeah. Was part of that um, important that you shared locally with each other? Or was it just more connecting your, your energies and holding hands and being I was, No, we definitely shared. With, with, there was a lot of conversations. And sharing, I think it was just that space, you know, with people. There was, there was no, we, we we didn't have to be worried about anything. We just talked. No Whatever judgment. came through, there was no judgment, no judgment whatsoever. But we weren't, we were kind of, it wasn't, we were still, we were still just part of the, the world, and we didn't stand out in any way in the in the world. 
We didn't look different or we just knew we had this connection and then when we were together and we did our own work and but then we were just doing the day to day stuff, you know. Yeah. Still having, you know, things that we had to do and to play the game. Play the game, yeah. So just see what else you get up to there uh, in that group, sitting together uh, and sharing and laughing. Does anything else important come up? I think we all just, you know, we were kind of given in some ways a responsibility to share with the world. Like, you know, like James. And it was just important for us to to come together and being able to not necessarily formulate rules, but it just ways just communicate in a with little hints. It was like we we, we were like this little seed group that was putting seeds everywhere for people to. We had this amazing source. We had James. We had these experiences, and then it was kind of bringing it into this thing that. Here's a little seed for you. Take that with you and see how it grows. It was quite special. So because of all your experiences, each of you were able to to kind of plant seeds in society. Mm, yeah. But not in the kind of demonstrating way or kind of in the, here we are, we're going to tell you what's right and wrong. It was just more through... Just little interaction and through kindness. Yeah. And do you get a, a feeling or sense that, that that was pretty important as well? Oh, it was so important. And I think that's kind of the first picture I had in my body at the time, you know, with the plant or the flowers and, and Angus and nature and all those things. It was just kind of appreciating. It was just a sense of appreciation of of having the experience and appreciating the the life that you've been given. Yeah. I think that's kind of the message with the group too. Is just a yeah. I think I think really we 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 kind of. Working with a certain group of people too, you know, because we were kind of from an affluent group. It was kind of from helping the thinkers to let go of the thinking and seeing things from a different perspective. Do you mean that the people that you'd run into that would be very um, what logical and left-brained and yes. thinkers, you were yeah. able to get through to them? Yeah. And change them a little bit? Yeah. It was the day when I died. So what's taking place? I'm lying in on my bed in my big room. My husband has passed. I'm by myself. <sighs> How long has it been since he passed? Probably about 10, 15 years. I'm quite old. I'm about 93, 95. And you're alone in the room? I'm alone in the room, but I don't feel lonely. I seem to be the, la the last of the group. Of the original uh, seven? Mm, yeah. And when you say you don't feel lonely, just see if you can expand on that. Why do you think that is? I'm looking forward to dying. I'm looking forward to let go of that body. Because I've had such an amazing life. And I just know so much. And it's time to let go. Yeah. I know I have given so much. And I'm not scared. Not scared at all. 
And what comes into your mind as you, you're laying there and, and thinking about your life? What important memories? I think it's just my gratitude to my husband, my gratitude to the group, to James, to the richness of my life and all the things that I've learned. I've learned so much. And I feel blessed. And I know I've... I could go back to the other side and know I have achieved my my purpose. I feel very fulfilled. It's like I'm not in the body anymore anyway. So, yeah, just make sure you've gone through your last breath there and see if you can notice what happens as you transition from the physical body. How would you describe that process? It's going home. You know, I feel like it's going home. Going home. There is a, the, at the time, it's, you know, it's it's the seven that is there. there is, it's kind of just coming home without being in the body. It's it's a sense of, it's like we just, it's like you've just done one, a thing and you're just coming home. <laughs> you've just been away for a while. Yeah. Mm. Even though it seems like it takes forever. Hmm. We just we just done this. I've just just been having this amazing life life experience. And like you said before, you um you weren't in your body, and mm. right now, do you notice uh, if you're still alone? No, it's 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 lots of lots of things going on. It's 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 I'm being greeted. Um, it's just it's like going home and say, hey, that was some experience. That was. So you're kind of like in a different space now. Yeah. Okay. How do you describe what it looks like that space? It's a little bit like the experience with the with the the green ones. <laughs> that you know we're not talking a language, or it's 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 more like it's we're just existing and and we. We're just all together. It's just a more fluid kind of thing. If you're not, it's like it's it's like an expansion of space, and you're kind of everywhere at in every moment. So you mean you kind of feel like you're you're spread out and and connected to a lot of things. A lot of things connected to everything. Who stands out the most when you were greeted? The light. It is a light. It is a light. That's it's it's this warmth. This it's the source. It's like it's it's a source. It's it's yeah. It's hard to explain. So you felt that that was one of the first things that uh, kind of welcomed you back. Yeah. It's just, it's just this. I'm home amongst existence, and it's just this light. It's this light that's kind of in everything. And would you say it's? Does it feel like a solo individual, or is it more everything? It's just everything. Like collective. It's not an. It's not an individual. It's not a separate thing. It's. It's just. It's just everything. And how would you describe your connection to it? What would the differences be between you and and that light? There, there is, it, there is, it, there is no difference. It's, it's just pure connection. It's, it's, there is no difference. So, would you therefore say that you are kind of it as well? Yeah, yeah. So you're just focused in on it from a different uh it's just seeing it from angle. a different but you see it in everything you know there's like a a big thing with all these little things but it's all connected mm. so it's like after... it, it's something you can't it's kind of just fluid it's just it's something you can't explain but you could kind of see it from here and you kind of that feeling of going into the 
You can see how cramped it is to go into these bodies. Cramped in, in what way? He was squashed into these bodies, this meat sacks. Whereas when you're out of the meat sack, you just, you are everywhere. Like it's, it's a very... It's, so would you, yeah. would, would you say that it's, it's very restricting when, you, when you're in a mm. physical body? Very limiting? Very limiting. Extraordinary. If you would like trying to compare it um, in another way, would it be like saying you're like 1% of a 1,000 in terms of what you're capable of or what consciousness you have access to and, and then what 1% would be a human or, or how would you describe it in that sense? Well, because you squashed into this meat sack, it's just that you're not, you're quite restricted and limited and you kind of, forgotten all of that so you're just getting these little glimpses, and that's what you're desperately holding on to it's kind of obvious it's kind of become obvious how how the body or the kind of the the thoughts and the beliefs and the values and all these things that the ego it's kind of that's kind of part of the body but when you let go and when you die, you just let go of all that. And it just opens up. So you're in the space now and you're you're very connected and in, into everything and, and that light. Uh, how would you describe it in terms of what you don't have when you're in a human body? How would you describe it? Well, there is no strong emotion except from complete ease and joy. You know, there's no, there is no, you recognize that when you're in the body because you're kind of feeding it and you are, you need to, all this kind of needing something to look after the body is kind of creating these limitations of truly existing fully as you do when you're out of the body. It's just the whole yeah, when you are when you're out of the body, it's like it's it's not it's so hard to explain. What are some it's, of the other things that you feel that you no longer have within you that you've let go of from not being in a body? Oh, it's it's all the worries, the beliefs, the the wanting, the need, the uh, you know looking at others, and you know it's all this kind of comparing, comparing the there's nothing of that. You you know desperately wanting somebody or thinking that you need somebody to make you happy. You just without the body. There is complete contentment and and just existing. Would you would you say it's kind of bliss as well? I bliss, yeah, absolute bliss. Ease, it's so easy. It's easy. Do you receive any messages or understandings from uh, any any of the the beings that greet you or, or from that light? What what happens next? It's kind of just it's almost. Um, it's more about sharing the experiences. It's kind of this, this kind of fun element that we're just sharing experiences, and it's it, again, it's 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 nearly a little bit of the same experiences as with the group. You know, it's just that ease of sharing. Okay, I was in this body, and this is what I experienced, and and then you kind of look at it and it kind of reflect on on what what was happening and. And it's like, okay, what next? That's, it's it's a sense of when you 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 you're there and and you just the whole purpose is just growing and experiencing and just there is just like a playground. <laughs> you look, look at okay, I I went into this body and I had this experience, 
And now what next do I want to do? Who are you sharing with? But it's just, it's kind of the, again, it's kind of these beings. I think, you know, there's the sevens at at, at the, this point in time is the sevens. And it's it's just, but it's not like they're, they are that specific person. They're just that soul. And th that soul is not just defined as one thing. So it's just, just focus, in, focus in on one of them, um, whoever's closest or whoever feels right. Uh, and as you say, it's it's not just that soul. Uh, what else makes up who they are? You can kind of, there is kind of a, some some sense of form, but it's not a body. Everything is just more fluid. But you kind of, again, you can, you look at you look at them, and there's just this kind of communication that is happening. But it's not like it's you're not. Yeah, I think it, there are there are a group of them that you are very very familiar with. I mean, there is a lot of it's a lot of it out there, or down there, or whatever it is. But it's it's a lot going on. But you seem to be connected to a, a, a certain energy group. Would you say there's more than and than just those that you had in that? Yeah, room? yeah. But it's they're all very, very familiar, are they? Yeah, yeah. It's like you're coming home to this thing that, and you feel like you belong. You know, it's a sense of belonging. If if you want to define it in a in a in a language thing, but it's a sense of this is where I'm supposed to be. With the the seven, with one of those seven, uh, do they share experiences that? Uh, are, are, Beyond that life you just had, are there any more lives they share? Oh, absolutely! It's just so much of it. It's just because it's it it's kind of so many things we can do and choose from. You know, it's not just coming to Earth. It's just all, all these other things as well. I can't really see anything kind of specific or how it all works, but I think it's there is a sense of guiding. There is something guiding you. There's something guiding you, like a, there is, you know, that source is guiding you in some ways. Yeah. So like you say said before, uh, it's not just that single soul. Would you say that you're similar to them? Are all this, we're kind of we're the same, but individually the same. <laughs> that so makes just, sense. Yeah, just see if you can sense into yourself. So see what's what you were made up of in that space just now. So you just had that lifetime. Um, how would you describe your energy or consciousness or with that, with the focus you have? I think there is, there is, there is a me because I've had all these other kind of experiences. It's like all these experiences are creating this thing. That is, I'm aware of in the body, not in the body, but in that existence. In that space. In that space. So do you mean that uh, all of your experiences kind of create that reality? This. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a growth thing. I think it is a growth thing because there's a lot of things happening and it seems like it's a lot of different level of energies and and where you're supposed to be and and I'm just in the space where I'm with with some beings that is I'm familiar with, but it is that source, that light. But it's nothing negative. It's nothing negative. It's just it's just existence. Yeah. It's a lot of curiosity. I like to, you know. It's a curiosity. It's this constant wanting to to learn something, experience something. Is vibrant. It's very vibrant. So after you're sharing with all of them, um, and and they share with you, well, what do you get up to next? There still seem to be times that you just need to be in your own reflective state, and you're just kind of curious about what's next. 
there is definitely, you know, you need to go and see somebody to to do explore. There is this definitely there is something that something that wants to talk to you. Not talk to you, but communicate with you about what you have learned. But I think through this this particular lifetime that I came through with, there is a, a, a sense of expansion kind of to the next level. Do you mean that it was a really important one? Yeah, it was a very important one. And it's kind of taken you up a level. Yeah. So you, you do get that sense you need to review. Yeah, absolutely. We review. Yeah. Yeah, we look through. But because my life, that, that life experience was so fluent, it was like it was like that perfect sense of yeah every accomplishment. Every, but there was it was still there is still things that I needed to learn. So just jump into that space where you're reviewing it and and see if there's anything important you need to know about uh, that lifetime, what what you're being pointed out with. Well, it was pointed, you know the the. Curious. I think what's comes through <coughs> is the the courage and the being brave enough to actually make more out of it than what we did as a group. We we're probably holding back a little bit too much. So, do you mean you could have done a bit more, more uh, mm, to share it? Because we were gifted this experience, but because we were a little bit. Because of that time, people were very closed off to something alternative or different. So we probably were a little bit too careful. So it's about how could I, how could I actually share more of this with others, and actually put myself up there and not be held back because of my status and and what I was in the in the world and the in the play my role. And do you get a sense that the, the the group could have done that as well, not just you? I think it was, yeah. I think we were kind of talked to as a group or communicated to as a group that we could have done more. Do you get specifics or is it more of a generalisation? It's, it's instead of just being those little seeds, it seems like we should have been a little bit more out there. Because I think because of the, the 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 period, it was you know if you if you did if you were different, it was easy to to be. So I think what 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 the message was more about kind of getting into a lifetime where there was a little bit more openness, openness to be from the general, maybe more like in this lifetime where people are a little bit more open. But not open enough. Yeah. To share about how much more it is. I think that was the general message. Because I, again, it's just that sense of extraordinary gratitude to be able to. I suppose we were ordered or we wanted that life ourselves. So we created that for ourselves. So you could see that. I could see now how we're kind of coming together and, and when you meet people and you know that you've met them before because you have, you know, it's just a, we, we planned to do something, to experience something. Yeah. And that's kind of the message that I'm getting from them as well, that, you know, be stronger as a group because it becomes more light than just one. Yeah, that makes sense. What's one of the things that you were told you did really well with? I did really well with or didn't? You did. What's what's something you did good with? The courage. Having the courage. I was given, you know, having the courage to take this into, to really live it. And to connect with this group. And to be open to difference. That was really the... I was given the 
good life. I was giving you a carefree life to be able to, or well, I created, I suppose, like, to be able to just really immerse myself in that. Yeah. Through that review process, do you get the understanding of what would have occurred in that lifetime if you had um, made other choices which weren't as good? It would have been a completely different life story. It would probably be a little bit harder to do it because of the restrictions, mm. because of the beliefs and values and being poor and those things would have hindered that openness because you need to have quite an open and free mind in the early stages to be able to do that. So just now see if you can um, understand what this jump or, or leap ahead or other level uh, you went up to thanks to that life. Or how would you describe that? It just feels like it's closer to the light. It just becomes lighter. It's like there is – it's it, it is really literally from the dark to the light – and I think the different levels, you just get, it just becomes lighter and lighter. And I'm just kind of, I'm not too far away from the light itself. So would you say it's like climbing a ladder and, and getting closer to the top? Yeah. I've, yeah, you can probably, yeah. It, it actually does kind of, it just makes it lighter. You're climbing or you're floating up <laughs> mm. up from the from the bottom of the ocean to the to the surface so after this life you just had um which we're going through the experience of now uh in that space what's one of the things that you were able to go and do or experience that you haven't done before because you went up a step you know, on the ladder or you went a bit higher in the ocean or you got a bit closer to the light. What's something new that you haven't done before? I think it's the new is the ease of connecting with the light. It just goes quicker. You're closer to joy and happiness than when you're further away. And do you know how that affects you when you come into another life after that one? Uh, is is there something you could describe as in being able to, to reconnect back closer? Something practical? I think it's the ease of letting go of things you're not so ingrained in the personality you're living at that point of time. You can let go of that and through meditation connect quicker. It's mm. like a knowing. It's like a different form of knowing than before when you were in, more in a darker place. And that's something I experienced in this lifetime as well. But it's still that I'm things that I'm curious about. But it is definitely ease. It's like you watch things or you see things, and it's like, oh, it's so familiar. Like people with near death experience. Oh, of course. It's like an yeah. It's like an of course. Okay, so let's see if you can jump to when you plan your life, your current life, back in the room. See if you can jump to that moment in that space you're in and just see what comes to you as in, you know, you might get some information on what you've planned. To cut, it seems like the experience is about being able to, you know, starting life quite dense to grow and physically in the body experience the light. Because it's like I planned my life to 
have some challenges in the early stages, or quite a lot of them, to to then at some stage starting to remember. And at the same time, it is like the yeah, the focus is a lot more of just being connecting within than to be ingrained in everything that is happening outside. So there's so there's quite the contrast from early on to, to when you got older where Yeah. Where you had to, you know, bit a bit of a leap, bit of a yeah. difference, yeah. I think it's just I think what I wanted to kind of experience as this life is from the denseness of the dark to because I have that level of light in the spiritual is to kind of bring that into this living experience being in the body to then be able to let go. Would you say that because you're quite well developed uh, and you're closer to the light that you were able to do that this time around, but be quite low down and then make that big jump in the same lifetime? I think so. I think that's what I'm starting to realize is just, yeah, recognizing that that's, that's what it's all about. Because I have this deep experience previously that I have. It's like I'm 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 here to connect with the with these beings that I met in the 1700s again. How have you planned to do that? It is. It's just the same thing as back then have the courage and just be open and 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 I think that's probably why I spend so much time in my own company is that's what what matters and I need to do even more but also find people to, that I can connect with I think that's that's the next thing for me is to meet people not necessarily the seven but that would be lovely but someone like that just quickly see, uh, could you have made any different choices uh, earlier on in life that that you planned that, that you should have made? Oh, definitely. I'm sure it's – I think I could have let go of a lot of this fear a lot earlier that just – this idea of not being liked. I still don't know what this smell thing is, but I'm not sure if I need to. But it's just I could have let go of that. Because I'm so much more powerful than I can even imagine. Mm. You know, it's all these in the work that I'm doing right now and all these petty stuff and it brings you down and it's just kind of, <laughs> it's kind of comical. But it's about just let it be. And, and as I was in the previous life with, I'm just in the play. It's, it doesn't matter. Yeah. It doesn't matter. And, you know, the people, maybe maybe this is, maybe because I am on that next level, maybe it's not that many of us around. I'm not able to connect because you can feel the darkness in people and, and I would like to help them and I would like to, do this work and and help them but that doesn't mean that I necessarily connect with them with like I did with the seven if this makes sense yeah yeah that does so you, you can still help them but you don't need to go so deep with the connection no but I need I need to connect I kind of I would, I would love to meet I would love to meet someone that it's kind of on that level that there's just a different form of conversation it's a different form of reflection yeah okay so just see you know with that planning for this life just see if you can look into what this this block is with people why did you plan that why is it happening mm -hmm. it's the courage i think it's it's really about having the courage to 
Well, I think it's it's also I think it's about recognizing. You know, we're living living in a world where we kind of want, you know, especially these days with social media and all that, we want to be loved and liked and and all that. And it's actually I'm being pushed nearly away from that. Well, I'm asked, you know, because I don't want to get into that. And it's about the authenticity of being real and connect with those people that I'm here to connect with. But I need to be open to that and not think about why I'm not being liked. So I think it's about the courage and the recognition again. So would you say it's like connected into that lifetime where um, you could have had more courage and done a little yeah. bit more? Yeah. yeah, I think so. It's about letting go and don't care what people say or think. But, you know, you're there to help and the people that is ready for it will take it. You don't have to impress 8 billion. Mm. There's only a few that is ready for it. And it's just being and helping. That's why I'm here. I'm here to teach. I'm here to teach. That's where I'm planning. That's the planning. That's I'm, t I'm here to teach. I just what needed to go through this thing, this kind of little bit of muddy thing to come up to the to the side and this age group to be ready to to teach. And I've done it. I've done it in small pockets. I know what, how it impacts people, but now it's like that's what I need to focus on. That's what, that's what it's all about. What did you plan to teach? I want to teach. And facilitate and help people to become more self leaders within themselves to connect with 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 the with themselves. Do you think that would uh, kind of uh, evolve from the mainstream uh, or the Western approach to into more of a, a spiritual self leader approach? I mean, you don't have to do it straight away. But... Yeah, no, the, absolutely, and that's kind of. Just reflecting on my life, that's I've always been a little bit different, you know. Yes, in this human resources space, but I've always been a bit different because I brought the the more spiritual side of things because I have been reading and working on this for quite some time. But I've kind of brought with me this backpack of the belief that, you know. I'm not liked, but that's yeah. that's that's the backpack that needs to go. And I think just yeah, and that's the message I'm getting too. And I could you know just seeing everything, you could see how it all. And again, you know, it's a little two second experience in in the universe, you know, that I'm going through right now. Do you get the answer as to how to get rid of the backpack? I think this this kind of session of reflecting and realizing the life that I have really made me realize how much bigger I am. And I've been aware of it, but I haven't really seen it in the same in the way that I do right now. Yeah, yeah. And uh a lot of the time, that's all you really need. Uh, mm. you, you don't need, you know, uh, all, all the answers. And just um, these memories can really help. Mm. It's quite amazing. It is It is like the, you know, that expansion of, 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 you know, next level, I suppose, with the light is that I just have so much more, and I have, in some ways, a, a nearly a responsibility to help help people in this world that is quite a hard place for many at the moment. Mm. I suppose it's just what you're doing. Yeah, yeah, I, think I do it in different ways mm. as well, not not just this but it's the same sort of mission really yeah
It's about remembering it. It's about learning from that lifetime because that was one of the more special ones and to bring that into this lifetime. What are some of the other benefits of, of recalling it? Just recognizing the power, power and the, the importance of the courage of being open to things that it's not necessarily define as normal, but it's just being open to seeing things from a very different perspective and being open to things that <clears throat> might come true. Discourage. It is courage. That life was very courageous. But be open and let it form. Be aware of the strength of thoughts and beliefs and, and knowing that there's always support. The support from the previous life was through the group, through James that was helping and that was very awake. It's about kind of recognizing you are James yourself, that you have so much to offer. Is it important that she attempts to, to find the same people that were in that lifetime and in her current lifetime? It's very important to connect with people and it's allowing the people that wants to connect. And that's, that's what needs to change is to see people that want to connect and allow it to happen because it's been blended by the idea that not being liked and it's not true so it's let go of that and finding yes finding someone that is similar to what what experience in that lifetime and, and, and have that connection have those conversations opening up together very important and it's important to find someone that is on the same energy level because the conversations and the connection are very different what else can you tell her about the, this distance that she has between people? It's a silly thought. It's a silly idea. It's it's not real. It's not true. It's letting go. There's always been people trying to connect. There's always been people that is curious and wanting to get to know her, but she just doesn't allow it to happen. So... It's a silly belief that needs to go. What did the the, the sludge or, or the mud represent? It represented something that she's created as a visual idea of herself. For some reason, she's, she thinks that she smells, but she just doesn't. There's nothing about that. It's an idea that she's grown into being something that is not real. The brownness, the heaviness, it's all in her mind. It's all her thoughts that is creating that and the belief that it's made it real or perceived as real, but it's not real. Is this something she planned to do? Well, her purpose is to be helping people and through that letting go of all these beliefs that she's carrying to free up to help these people because there are so many that need her help and that is why she's there. That's the life purpose. What would your advice be to her around how she can get deeper connections with people? She needs to get out and meet people. She needs to have the courage to to connect with people, but also just trust. Trust that the people that is meant to come into her life will come. It will be a natural process. She can just ask. She can ask and it will happen because this is what her story is all about. This is what she's here to experience right now. What else is her purpose in this life? 
it's it's bringing kindness it's about bringing there is you know bringing people back to to the root of our existence really to the light to recognize that it's so much more it's about purpose is to connect with those that are curious it's not to save everybody because it's not possible but it's about connecting with those that is curious and are seeking that next step and of understanding being the introducer to people that is especially in that leadership space because she has developed in that space and that's been her passion and that's where she needs to be because it's needed. A lot of people are spending so much time at work in this fantasy of working and earning money and all the egos. She's a light to let go of egos and to recognize and to build relationships where you can be more productive and creative and see more meaning in what they're doing everybody's doing especially leaders in that lifetime she had today she um, had that fascination with the the ufos and the, the ets and that's what helped her awaken to you know, what's beyond the physical. I'm just curious, um, obviously that is connected into a life purpose this time around because there's ways to help people wake up. But why was it chosen um, that, that the ETs um, were used to, to, to help her all wake up when there's other methods? I'm just curious why that was important. Again, it's about having that open mind and to recognize that we're not alone. And that's another thing that it's important for her in this lifetime is to open to that again and to to connect with people that is curious about that because it's so important. And with her experience, she has a knowing. It's a knowing there already. Uh, and it's about opening up to that again for it, for for it to happen again. Can you bring forth um, one or two of her, her her main guides, her spirit guides, just now, so she can meet them? There is two of them in particular, and it's one one angel like, and she's very communicative. And then it's a more solid one. There was her great 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 granddad that died in the war. Mm. And they are just there for, for her all the time, whenever she needs it. And she knows that. Do each of them specialize in anything specific in terms of helping her? One is really the spiritual guide and respond to request and it's it's really important for her, for her that she trusts what comes from her because it's all true, it's all real. The great granddad is more a solid protector than just protecting her energy. And it gives her that solid sense of knowing that she's supported but they're real they're there mm. and it's important to trust them do they have any messages for her just now they just say they really enjoy how she's opening up they appreciate how she's opening up and knowing them recognizing them for for being there to support her and they hope there will be more of it and even more trust that it's real. It's, it's, they are there. They are truly there. 